Hey, what's going on guys? This is KNASTY3890 here. I'm back with another Madden 18 Ultimate Team video. Today, I'm going over some ways you guys can make coins to start off your team. And this is no money spent or if you want to spend uh, real money on packs, this will work for both. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, do me a solid and hit that subscribe button if you want more daily Madden videos like this. If you are enjoying this video, if it does help you out, get some coins for your squad. Make sure to hit that like button. Now, this is part of my squad that I am spending money on. I will be doing a no money spent squad, which shows you can have a good team and coins without spending money, but we're going to get to that in a future video. But right now, I'm going to show you guys how you get coins. So right now, I'm at about 280,000 coins. I have a pretty solid team, an 82 overall. You know, I have spent um, money opening up some packs, opening up a few bundles. All the packs I've opened up, though, you guys have seen on the channel, the videos. So as you can see, our team's pretty solid. It's nothing crazy, but it's pretty solid. And I still have 280,000 coins, and that's going to be going up in the near future. And you're wondering, Kane Nasty, how are you getting these coins? Because people keep asking me on this on Twitter. I figured, what's the best way to do it than make a video for you guys? So, let's get right into it. First thing I'm going to go into are these objectives in progress. I feel like this is a good thing. Um, now, there, are, I can't show you all the ones I've completed, but first off, every day, you're going to have daily challenges. So far, they've been win one game, win two games, it would be uh, buy a pack, and the last one was, I'm drawing a blank on it, something very easy. Oh, complete a set. You do those four things, you're going to get a quick sell depending on your mutt, reward, mutt level. In the top right of the screen, it, you can see I'm on level 16. When you're on level 1 through 15, you get a, a quick sell that can go up to 50,000 coins. I think I did two or three of them, and I got 10,000 on one of them. So there's a way to get coins. Once you reach level 16, which I'm on right now, when you do the daily uh, rewards and, and they reset every morning at 6 a.m. Eastern time, I can now get up to 100 can of quick sell. So that's really cool. Increasing your overall, you get coins. Now, you, you see right here, it says if you increase your overall and win five games, including solos, if I, once I get to an 84 and win five games, I get 10,000 coins. You get to an 86, you get 10,000. 88, 10,000. You get to a 90, you win five, uh, win eight games, 10,000. That's a good amount chunk of change. That's 40,000 there. And then plus on the top, it says complete this list of tasks to earn an extra 50k. So once you finish all those, you earn 50. Now you're thinking, can't have to get into a 90 overall. That's going to take a while. That might take till like November, December to get to that for a lot of people, which yes, that's true. But this isn't the first uh, improve overall section of objectives. There are some to just get to like an 80 overall. I think once I got to an 82 and I won four games, I got an extra 20 grand plus what I already had. There's also other, other objectives like winning solos. Like once I got to, a, uh, I think, 80 solos, I got an extra like 10K plus what I had. All together through all these objectives and then these squad goals I've not touched yet. And here's Mutt Masters in here too. And you get like an extra thousand coins every time you beat one of these things. And some of them are really easy. Like uh, just win 50 games with a team greater overall. Uh, it's like sell 10 things complete or win 10 sell 10 like stuff like that's easy uh so there's some easy coins right there just from playing the game um every time you get a mutt level you um will unlock either new solos or new packs and the packs i can show you what they are here can give you some really good stuff guys so right here it says like a level 15 pack it's not really showing what it's what it gave you all right here we go um it actually doesn't say but like a level 14 you get a 76 or more or a 76 card you get to pick which 76 overall which there's nothing crazy, but you also got an 82 overall card for spending 150 points, which is the same price as a pro pack. No, I believe it's non-auctual, non-tradable. But once you get to level 14, you got that. When you get to like level 12, I think you got an 81. I think when you get to level 10, you got an 80. So you get some free elites there. No, it does cost you like 150 points, 100 points. So if your team no money spent, then that's off your books. Like you want to spend like five dollars just to get all those, and that five dollars is not that much. I mean, maybe for some people, but all in the grand scheme of things, it's not that much. Uh, now, I would not recommend buying packs with coins, uh, right now at least. I would say points and then sell everything to get your coins up. Now, if you want to spend with coins, go right ahead. But moving on, the next thing I would recommend you guys to do is solos. Like The first thing I tell people to do right when they get the game is beat these kickoff solos. You're going to get, I think it's around like 25, 30,000 coins. Plus, you're going to get a Champ Bailey 80 overall. I would then say next, do the gauntlet. The la I'm almost done with it, but the last wave of Gauntlet, once you finish all 20 of those, you get 50,000 coins. Um, you get some packs. This last veteran solo is a is a bitch, to <laughs> say it politely. Um, but it gave me, it gives you like a chance to get like an elite Seahawk card, and you get to pick which one you got. And I got 87 overall Doug Baldwin. I've seen people get uh, Jimmy Graham. I, I'm assuming you could get, uh, I think it's on the offense, right? So you could get like Russell Wilson. Um, so you can get cards like that, but all together these gauntlets aren't too bad. I also got an 85 stuff on Gilmore, which is really good out of it. 
So that helped my overall. That didn't help with coins, but there's still good coins in that. The journey doesn't really give a whole lot for coins. The level challenges do. Each uh, wave of level challenges gives you 5,000 coins, and these solos are relatively quick. The last one usually is like uh, you have to play like a full half, but the first three are something you can do real quick, and you get unlock these every time you level up, or every like, three levels in your mutt level. So that's another way to make coins. Another way is the market. Now, right now, I would say check some silvers. Some silvers for certain teams go for a lot. And make sure you check to see if it's a silver card that goes between 60 to 64, 65 to 69, because those are different. Those have different values, because some of them sell for like 3,000 coins right now. And if you have like five, 10 of those, let's say you have five of them and they sell for 3,000 coins, there's 15,000 coins. Then you take away 10% tax, it's 1,350, uh, uh, 13,500 coins. That's not bad. Like this stuff will add up, guys. Also, a filter. If you guys want to know a little filter for sniping, I won't give away too many right now. I'll do another video on this in the future. But right now, this is what I have been doing for a filter for sniping is kickers. And you're wondering why kickers? There's some solos you have to do for the gauntlet where you need a gold kicker to beat it. You can't use the kicker you get at launch. And look how much gold kickers are going for. 17k, easy. And these sell quickly. So I would just sit here and wait for someone to put a gold kicker for 2,000 coins, buy it, put yours up for 15,000, 16,000. It will sell literally instantly because people need these kickers to beat those solos. So they have, like you see, that Aguayo sold literally within 10 seconds. Just keep, if you want to keep doing this, just keep searching. You will find people putting up cards too cheap. And just like right there, that 15,000 you may think is a snipe. But at the end of it, like if I put it up for 17,000 it sold, for 17,000 I made 300 coins after tax. At the end of the day it's really not worth it. But like I said, just keep checking this. You gotta be quick. People are looking for these snipes. So you gotta be quick on the draw guys. But that's what you should do. Um, and last thing for this video, I'm not gonna go into every single way, but this is just what I've been doing. Uh, Mutt Draft. Mutt Draft has great rewards. Now the draft requires you to use five tickets per entry. Um, the first one you can get for two, you can get the first time you get tickets, it costs I think 250 coins if you go to the store and get your um, first five tickets. So 250 coins, and let's see if I can see the uh, rewards. The rewards are great, guys, for uh, rank draft, mutt draft, draft champions. It's all the same thing. So if you don't win at all, you get two gold player packs, which are basically pro packs. I believe five tickets cost 15,000 coins. So at the end of the day, you're basically just spent your. If you go winless, you go 0 and 2. Your tickets then just turn into two packs, which at the end of the day, it's, it's the same value. If you get one win, you get 2,500 coins plus those two player packs. If you get two wins, you're getting 10,000 coins. And like I said, it costs 15,000 coins to enter, except for the first time, it's only 250 coins. So really good the first time. You should do it at least once when it only costs 250 coins. You're also gonna get a gold premium pack, which guarantees two gold or better, plus I think four silver or better. Big rewards when you get three and four wins. Three wins, you get 20,000 coins and that gold premium pack. If you get four wins before you get two losses, which isn't that hard. I mean, some people may struggle playing head-to-head, -head, myself included. I'll have times where I'm really bad, but I can get four wins pretty consistently before two losses. You get 20,000 coins and an elite player pack, and you I'm 99% certain you can sell that, I would say, if you couldn't. So you're going to get yourself an elite player pack. That is not bad at all, guys. A really good reward. So if you don't want, if your team is not that good for like mutt, go do rank draft, draft champs, draft champs, uh, mutt draft, whatever you want to call it. You don't have, I mean, you just put your team, you build your team through the draft, you play, you get good rewards, and you can get you and help your mutt team out. So here you go, guys. These are just some ways I've been making coins. I hope this helps you out. For people who have who already have the game, you might know some of these, maybe not all of them. If you're waiting until Friday to get the game, or you still haven't got the game yet, you're gonna you want to see how it's like. Really easy to make coins, not spending money. And like I said, I will do a full series, a full team on this. So be on the lookout for that. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. I hope it helped it, you out. If you if it did help you out, please do me a solid. Drop a like on the video, guys. I'll talk to you later. Take it easy. Peace.